Hi, and welcome to Revelations TV. Today, I want to talk a little bit about a very modern form of gravity. It's called the excuse. Now, I don't know about you, but I was raised that when you made a commitment or a promise, you kept it, no matter what. It wasn't that you kept it if it was convenient for you and nothing better came along. It was a commitment. And what I see in our world today is more and more I see excuses taking the place of keeping a commitment. And you know what? I think a lot of that's because we are now in a much more disconnected communication form. You know, it used to be you had to look at somebody eye to eye and say, wow, I didn't make my date. Now you can send an email. It's very passive. It's not face to face in real life. And that means that, well, if you didn't get that job done or you didn't get that work done or you didn't make that call or you didn't finalize that sale, well, you know what? You don't have to go in and face the music face to face with your boss. You can send an email and say, gee, my Mac's in the shop for 20 days or, well, I sent that file, you didn't get it or, well, you know what? My cell phone didn't leave a message. I just don't know what happened or whatever. The dog ate my homework. My house fell down. I don't know what. The, I've heard so many excuses lately for not making commitments. I can't even begin to tell you all of them. What I do know is that a commitment is a promise. And it's something that we all need to return to keeping. Because think about all of the energy that gets put into those excuses. If we took all the energy that go into excuses for why we didn't meet the commitment and just stepped forward and made the commitment and kept it, our world would be a much better place. So I don't know about you, but I have a new commitment to myself. And that is no more excuses. From now on, there is no excuse. I have always prided myself on keeping my commitments, but I can tell you that there's times when, you know, I'll come up with an excuse because I just don't want to do something or I'm too busy. No more. A commitment is a commitment. A promise is a promise. I will keep it no matter what, no matter how inconvenient it is for me. And there will be no more excuses on my part. And I will accept no more excuses from others. Now, that may sound like a hard line, but you know what? Having just gone through a lot of the excuses I just went through with a lot of people and had them not deliver, not do what they promised and basically falsify all their commitments, I'm going to the other extreme because I am going to keep commitments and you know what? I bet you are too. So let's all bend together and say no more excuses. We won't make them, but we're not going to accept them from others anymore either. And maybe that'll help everybody in this world ditch the gravity of excuses and move forward to the simple, basic foundation of it all, which is a promise is a promise. Keep it.